With iOS 16, you can customize your iPhone with lots of different lock screens, home screens, and they can even change automatically with focus modes. I'm gonna walk you through how I've set up my iPhone where I just have one home screen per focus mode. I access all my apps either in the app library and spotlight, and focus modes will change my home screen if I'm filming, if it's in the evening, and even some widgets that make all of that possible. Let's jump into it. This is my default or normal lock screen and home screen. There's no focus mode enabled and this is what's active for most of the day. And you'll see my three lock screen widgets here are the temperature for the day, my things widget so I can check my to-do list, and a shortcut to Apple Podcasts. I can tap that and it'll jump me right to the podcast app where I'm listening. Now, unfortunately, there's no actual lock screen widget for the Apple Podcasts app. If I go into customize this lock screen, you can go in to see all the widgets and podcast is not one of them. But what I've done is actually use an app called Launcher, and here I can add widgets that are long or just a little one space square. And this can be shortcuts to applications, websites, really anything you want. It's really customizable. I'll put a link to that app in the video description. I'll show you my other lock screens when we get into the different focus modes. But if we go to the home screen, this is the only home screen I use throughout the day. If I swipe to the right, you'll see this is just the app library. And if I swipe to the left, this is the today view with several widgets. And we'll go over those in a second. Some of these apps are pretty stock. You know, I use the clock, setting alarms, timers, maps, photos, camera, Slack for business communications. Things is my to-do app, really love that. And I have a widget for things, I'll show you in a second. I like keeping an eye on social media. That's why you'll see Instagram, Twitter, and Mastodon, or that's actually the Ivory app from TapBots. I have lots of smart home devices, so I keep that home app right on the home screen, and one password I use all the time for all the different logins. Speaking of those home automations, I just did a video on the 100 HomeKit devices I use to power my smart home. You can check that out above, or the link is in the video description. Now you'll see two spaces where I have widgets, and these are actually widget stacks, so there's multiple widgets that I can swipe through whenever I'd like. Up here is just the normal weather widget. I like how it looks, it's aesthetically pleasing, but if I swipe to the next widget in this stack, this is actually a fantastic out widget. I like seeing the full month view on the left. If I'm ever trying to schedule something or I just wanna see kind of where we are in the month, I love that view. I put my weekends on the end, start my week with Monday. Let's be honest, that's how you should set up your calendar app. And then I have upcoming meetings there on the right side of the widget. But I can also see my upcoming events on the Apple Watch, so I don't have to look at that phone widget just to see what my next meeting is. If I swipe down, I actually have the deliveries widget to let me know when the next package is coming. This stack down in the bottom right, I have my currently playing podcast. I like seeing the artwork there plus quick access to the app if I tap it. If I scroll to the next widget, you'll actually see my things to-do list. So these are the to-dos I have to do today. And if I tap it, it brings me to the things app. I love the things app. It's a very clean UI, really aesthetically pleasing. I also like how it shows me my schedule for the day at the top, plus my to-dos underneath. I don't like putting tasks on the calendar, like creating an event, but it's actually a to-do, but sometimes I like to see them together. And that's what I get here in the Things app. That's just my calendar at the top, my to-dos are at the bottom separate, but I can see them both at a glance when I'm trying to plan my day. And my last widget in this stack is actually the AnyList app, which is what I use for grocery shopping. But what I like about it is we also do our meal planning using the AnyList app. So I have my grocery lists and I can buy it there. You see, I definitely need some cold brew this week. Have that separated by store. This syncs with my spouse so she can add items and then I can go shopping for them but you can also do these meal plans and even add ingredients to a specific recipe. And then you can quickly add those ingredients to a grocery list. But what's cool is any list has widgets where if you wanna see what's for dinner, you can see what we had planned for dinner tonight right here in a widget on my home screen. So that's pretty cool. Now, whenever I need to open an application, the fastest way I have found is just searching for it. So if I need to go to the Wells Fargo app, I literally just pull down for Spotlight, search for WEL and I can tap it right there. I find this way quicker even just having multiple home screens with tons of apps. It gets disorganized even if you have a bunch of folders. So this is my only home screen. Sometimes I'll go over to the app library and I can see some of the suggestions or recently added. And sometimes those are pretty accurate. Those are the apps that I want. But that's the only home screen. That's it. Now if I scroll to the left, you'll see I do have some widgets here in the today view. I use a lot of shortcuts on my iPhone and other devices. And I put some of the most used here on my phone in these widgets. Things like Apple Frames that allows me to nicely display screenshots from my phone. I have a quick link that goes to the passwords here in the settings app. I wish that iCloud Keychain would have a dedicated password app, but until that's possible, this shortcut is a nice quick access for that. If I'm gonna record a video in my studio, I have a shortcut that sets all those settings. I have my battery widget down here. I like seeing my battery percentage, but not all the time. So I leave it here on the Today View. Plus some other home entertainment shortcuts, other podcasts, and then I can just open the shortcuts app by using 
this shortcut. This is why I don't need the shortcuts app on my home screen. I can literally just tap that widget. Some other widgets I have in the Today View is Home Cam, so I can have a quick view of any of my HomeKit Secure video cameras or my video doorbell right here. And that's about it. I don't really use the Today View other than just those shortcuts, batteries, and taking a look at my home cameras. Now that's the setup I use every day during the week. That's like my workday home screen, lock screen, and widgets. Now I have two to three focus modes that I really keep. One is my filming focus mode. Whenever I'm going to film, I enable a focus mode called filming, silences all notifications, and it changes my home screen and lock screen. So if I'm gonna go into my filming focus mode, I'll go to the control center and then let's go to filming. And now you'll see it actually changes the home screen and it changes it to a home screen I've set up where it has a pretty nondescript gradient background, which I find is good for filming. It's not too distracting. All the app icons are high contrast. And then I'll typically change whatever apps appear in this little grid of four for whatever I'm making a video about. Plus, I like showing one of the podcasts that I produce right here when I'm filming. So I keep that podcast widget right there. But that's it. That's the only home screen I have for the filming. And the lock screen is just this nice little earth icon. Someone said that this is a security risk because it shows that I'm in Florida. But listen, Florida is a big state. Th that's me. I don't add any lock screen widgets or put any widgets on the home screen that might show any personal information. This is when I know when I'm filming, there's no risk of that. Now, every day in the evening at about 6 p.m., I have my evening focus mode turn on. This now enables the home screen that I use in the evenings, and this is also my weekend home screen. As you can see, some of the work apps have been taken away, like there's no Slack, there's no YouTube Studio or YouTube app. This is more just for the evenings. I still have social media on there, but I have a picture of my family. This is using the Widget Smith app. I like that because in the evenings and weekend, I should be focusing on my family. That helps remind me of that. Up here, I just have the weather. I don't have any other widgets stacked underneath there. And then in this small widget, I still have my deliveries because sometimes deliveries come in the evening. I still have my AnyList grocery list if I'm gonna run to the store in the evening. And I do have a calendar there only because if I'm talking with my family or somehow I get a message talking about, are you free on this day? I like being able to jump into the calendar and see what I have going on. Now, if I go to the lock screen for the evenings, I've changed this a little bit. I put what's for dinner right there in the lock screen widget. So that's the any list widget. Tell me what's for dinner, if I'm gonna be helping with it or doing anything. I like being able to see that. I have the temperature here. Nice to know what the temperature is outside. If we're gonna go outside, play pickleball maybe. And I also have my garage door here on the lock screen. This way I can tap that quickly, see if the garage is open and closed or close it for the evening if we're done. So that is my evening lock screen. Now the last focus mode I'll show you quickly is the weekend focus mode. This activates every Friday evening and stays active through Sunday. And again, blocks all notifications I might have to do with work. I didn't do a different home screen for the weekend. This is just uh, the same as the evening home screen. Although the lock screen is different. For the lock screen, I've taken away all widgets. So I don't see any widgets here. And pictures of my family rotate throughout the day. So every hour, there's a different picture of my family here on the lock screen. And I like that for the weekend. So that's how I've set up the home screens and lock screens on my iPhone. Drop me a comment below and let me know what are your favorite widgets, both for the home screen and the lock screen. I'm looking for some new ones. I'd like to know what you use. And if you'd like more information on setting up focus modes or custom lock screens, check out this video above. Links are also in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.